Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here, and I'm going to take a drink of this white tea real quick. Mmm. Oh dear god, that's awesome. Alright, welcome back. Let's play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. I needed that really bad. I had to cleanse the palate because of the fact that my throat still hurts a little bit. I'm trying to, uh, you know, lighten the load a little bit here. Did I have any cars in the... God! Did I have any cars in the garage here? Apparently I didn't. Even though there's like five trillion garages around here. I did not save any cars. Oh, yeah, last time. Oh, boy. There was enough going on last time to really make me want to just end it all right there. But it's not going to happen, luckily. So let's go Let's go do another one of these payphone missions here. I, I am ready. I'm ready to jack the bitches, slap the hose, do some drone, and we're in the zone. <laughs> and I'm going to just butt ram that car right there because I can. Excuse me, fine sir, toting your Uzi. The bullion run, huh? Yo, a Federal Reserve flight just smashed down at Francis International. There's plaques in them all over the strip. Get a car and snatch up as much as you can. You can drop the bling off at one of my garages. This platinum is mad heavy, and it'll slow your wheels down some. So make regular drop-offs at the garage. Well, all right. Get a vehicle. Well, let's get this vehicle. Why not? Head to the location where the cargo is scattered. You'll need to collect 30 pieces of bullion. Of some good old-fashioned beef bullion. Go! Go! I probably should have got a car that's a little bit faster than this, but I guess I'm going to have to make do. So I, I just got out of the shower because it was colder than Adolf Hitler's soul in my house. So I got home. I was like, you know what? This needs to happen. And then I got out of uh, I got out of the shower and you know got all cleaned up and everything. Had a nice steady stream of hot water with some with some uh, liquefied soap suds that smelt just great. Whoop! And I am not making this easy on myself right now. You know what? We're gonna get this car instead because it's faster. I know that. Don't tell me what to do. I know what's going on here. Yeah, there we go. Now we know. Going south the battle. G.I. Joe, American hero. Alright, so let's, let's see what they got for us here. What they want us to do. No. What garage are they talking about? That's that's the other big question. I don't know what garage they ah, that they're talking about. Good lord. Adolf Hitler. Wow, there's a lot of freaking bullion here. Wow, this really does slow down the car a lot. Okay, so let's... What garage are they talking about here? I don't even know what garage they're speaking of. I'm gonna guess and hope to God that it's in an area that's close by. It is. Good thing. Oh, I've got the... I've got the 50 on me right now. I don't. I don't want to have the old, the old 5-0 grind on me at this juncture. That'd be bad. Ah! Nope. Nope. In the garage. In the garage. Oh, for God's sakes! It's always got to be a certain one, doesn't it? Why can't I just go in any garage? What's What's the big deal with that? I. Oh my God. Go. Go, man. Okay, here we go. Go back up the road. I think it was... I think it was straight away center here. Was it not? Right over here? It sure was. Like, do these other cars not... Uh, like, are these other cars, like, not aware that all this... All these giant bars of either gold and or drugs are just sitting here? Does nobody else besides me realize that this is going on? Because that's kind of... It's kind of peculiar. Oh, give me another one. There we go. Oh, no! Well, at least we're still fast enough to get away from these guys. By the way, speaking of Adolf Hitler's icy cold soul... Oh, no. Okay. Apparently, very, very bad choice to do that the way that we just did it. Yikes. Apparently, you get too many of those, and, uh... You apparently can't even stop your car anymore. I like that idea, though. I mean, I didn't like that that's the way that it just went down, but I do like that they they think of it that way. Okay, let me get into 
just a couple more. Oh, for crying in a bucket. Let's do this. My car weighs an exceptional amount right now, so I'm sure that getting away from these guys should be a total cakewalk. A good old-fashioned cockwalk here. Come on, get out of the way. As we are engaged in the slowest car chase to ever take place in the world. Here we go. And I am, I'm motoring. Oh, really? Come on. Every car is super destructible now. This is retarded. This is just... <sighs> but yeah, but speaking of, uh, speaking of Adolf Hitler and his icy cold soul, um, there is a movie that exists out there called, what the hell is it called? It was called, like, Nazis at the Center of the Earth or something like that. Find it, download it, watch it, enjoy it. Because it is, it is something, let me tell you what. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. No, you can go in this way, Turtlehead Fishing Company. Get in there. Gosh, euphemism for poop. Coming out of your butthole very slowly, and it's peaking like a baby. My dear God, let me get in there now. Shing. Ugh. I mean, uh, quite obviously, we are not going to even get anywhere close to finishing this mission because... You know, I had to lose, you know, like three cars in the process. But it's the idea that at least we know, we know, we got we have a, a general idea of what's going on now. We we kind of, we know how to attack it. That's 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 the uh, that's the silver lining of this today. Why are there so many of these, and why does nobody notice? Like, are all these people stupid enough to just be like? Yeah, I got you know, a bunch of things floating around here on the side one. I'm, I'm not gonna touch them. It's not mine. Yeah, it did. And of course, you know, I, I guarantee, I guarantee you, if those hookers actually knew what it was, they'd be like, "Oh my God, shiny things!" And then I'd be like, "You know what? Dream on, hooker. Dream the fuck out." Come on. I mean. The funny thing is, as bad as we did with this mission, we still had a legit chance of getting, you know, done with it anyways. Okay. Too slow, man, too slow. I know, I know. I did not do very good on that. Mainly because apparently having very easy to blow up cars is not a very good idea here. But you still have to have a car that's at least kind of fast. I mean... It's almost like you have to kind of sacrifice durability for speed in this just because of how much those damn things slow you down in the first place. So it's like, what do you want to do? Do you want to, do you want to, you know, be able to get there quickly and, you know, risk a cop just totally ruining your life and your rectum? Or do you want to, you know, be able to get there even slower but, you know, at least be able to survive? I don't even know. I would rather have the speed because I like to go fast. My prime, oh, let me tell you, let me tell you what, I used to be quite the speed demon. I mean, my, my insurance record will tell you that. I had enough speeding records to, or enough speeding tickets to choke a donkey. Oh, no! Okay. Didn't really mean to go that way, but I guess we're going to go that way. Dude, why are there so many? There's a lot of taxis over on this side of the world. Oh, yeah, give me the classic one. Give me the old, like, the old New Yorker-style cabbie. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's try this again. Let's let's give this another, another, another full attempt. Because now there's, there's no way, no way in the Western Hemisphere of hell should I not get this. Okay, well, you know, now that I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that tea is money. He, money, what are you doing, Claude? I get it, you know, I get it. For some reason, my, the, the controller that I, the USB controller that I have is, is getting really temperamental now. I think it's starting to get senile. Like, sometimes it just, like, it totally forgets that it's even plugged into my computer. And so sometimes it'll make that weird, you know, Windows 7 noise where you plug something in and it goes, dun dun, dun dun. And uh, then you have to put up with that, cause like, and, and like you just saw it there, like my uh, claw just started walking around like an idiot because 
you know, my controller was malfunctioning. I wasn't even pushing anything, and he's just like, Grr, I'm gonna go this way, because I'm clawed, and I'm not being controlled by humans. So, yeah, that's kind of how that went. You know, one thing I'm really happy about in this game is that people can't... Sh I, I, you know, I may be wrong here, it just it hasn't happened yet, so I'm just assuming that it's not possible, but I don't think that people can shoot out your tires on your car. I, I don't even know if they even put out spike strips yet. I know they did that in Vice City, and I know I think they did that in San Andreas, but they didn't do it here, and I'm really glad they did. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. Okay, so there's that. And then we can just drive right down the street and go put it in here. All the while making that guy's life even worse. Because we didn't run over him with just a regular car, we ran over him in a car full of what I'm assuming are either you know, bricks of drugs or bricks of gold, uh, since I wasn't paying full attention to what was going on with that whole thing when he was explaining it, I'm just assuming that it's probably going to be drugs. I mean, that would make sense since, you know, half the things they've been talking about in this game is smack. Nobody's going to miss that hobo anyways, let's be honest. I know that I won't. He was a menace to society, and that guy just tried to commit suicide by jumping in front of me again. Come on. Come on. So it's like, are the cops the only ones that know that I'm getting this stuff? I mean, it's, it's kind of weird. So they're like, they're like these, these magic bricks that nobody besides us and the guy that's getting them can see. We now must go get him, because we should. It's like I'm driving in snow or something. That's how heavy my car is getting. You can't even control it anymore. Holy crap! Wow, I didn't realize that we had 17 of those. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, my Aunt Lisa. And I'm sure somebody would ask, Why exactly would the number 17 remind you of your Aunt Lisa, Adam? I'm like, well, you know, let me, let me tell you a story about my Aunt Lisa world. A long time ago, when I was in the land, the, the, the wonderful world of high school, there, there once was a time when we had a family reunion, because my Aunt Lisa, I believe, lives in South Carolina, and so she came up here to visit, all the way over here in, in lowly little Oregon, and I don't mean lowly because it's actually a pretty cool place to be. I enjoy it. I don't know about the rest of you guys, if any of you live in Oregon. I know a lot of people seem to hate it just because it rains here all the time. Like, what's going on right now in the background of this game is very is a very accurate depiction of what happens in Oregon a lot. This likes to rain all the time. But besides the point, um, she came to visit. She stayed at her house, and there was a night, and she, she likes to drink a lot of wine. Let's just throw that out there. Aunt Lisa, she, uh, she does not have an off switch for wine, so she likes to get a little bit, a little bit sauced on the sauce. So, one of the nights that she came over, you know, that she was here, she just decided to, you know, crack a bottle and, and all that, and all that fun stuff. And, uh, you know, I had a bunch of my friends over, and we were just chilling in my room listening to music. And I, I'm trying to remember what year this was, but that was back at the time when, uh, when the, the song Out of Control, the remix by 50 Cent, uh, was, was kind of popular. And so, we were listening to that, and, uh, and because of the fact that Lisa was so wasted at this juncture, every time she could hear us listening to it up there, and so every time the song would turn off, uh, we'd hear we'd hear her say, uh, we'd hear her say, "Play that one again, play it again." We're like, "Well, which uh, which one?" Hold on a second, I want to see I want to see what this is all about. The rumble, rumble in the rumble. Oh, all right. We gotta play by those rules. But yeah, she's like, play that one again, play it again. We're like, which uh, which one are you talking about, Lisa? She's like, uh, she like uh, came up in my room. She's like, what what what? Uh, it was number seventeen on that CD. Yeah, yeah, play number seventeen, number seventeen. That's the one I want. And so we literally had to play that song over and over and over, and every time. Every time we started uh, listening to it, she'd just, she'd like to start sipping on her wine again and be like, Oh, number 17, it's my favorite song, oh man! It got to the point where I was like, God, Lisa, shut up! Shut up! 
Shut up, I say. I'm getting tired of this song right now, but no, 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 no. She never got tired of that song, so we just had to keep listening to it over and over again until my brain started seeping out of my belly button and my ear, out of my ears, simultaneously. Like my brain actually split itself into two via mitosis, and that's that's what happened. So where the hell am I going right now? I'm just I, all I'm trying to do is just trying to get up, I'm trying to go upwards. And yet I can't find my way up that direction because the world is just being cruel to me right now. Not to mention, I'm already in a busted up car. This isn't really helping my cause any. It's also not going to help me at all. Lips 106. Listen to this. It's gonna be the stuff that you want to hear because it's Lips 106. God, I'd love to be that guy. One of these days, you, you you know, somebody is going to turn on the radio and I'm going to be one of them awesome-ass radio personalities that everybody was always like, Oh my god, I know that guy! He used to make YouTube videos! Holy shit! It's probably not going to be like that at all. Let's let's just be honest with ourselves. So we're like, are we going to go have a fight in the burbs right now? Is, this, is that what's going on? Dude, we're going to have like a giant gang war in the suburbs. This is awesome. Okay, so what, they're all down there? Where the hell are these? Oh, they're... Where are these guys? I gotta get all the way down there somehow. Oh, boy. A long way down to go, but we're gonna... We're gonna make the trek. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, we're just... We're, we're off-roading this one right now, because this is how... This is how Adam rolls. When there is no way down, you make your own trail. Oh, crap. This is not going to go over very well. This guy's going to blow up this car so fast, it's going to be sickening. Hmm. I'm going to regret it. But you know what? You only... Well, no, I'm, no, no, no. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say that. Okay. Baseball bat only. <sighs> really? What I get when I, this is what I get when I don't pay attention to things. I really have an issue with paying attention to things. I I really do. It kind of sucks. Oh well. Well, at least that payphone's like right here, so I guess it's not all bad. We can try it again. Dude, this is gonna suck. I'm not really good with that. I haven't had to use that baseball bat all but like one time in this entire let's play. So, man, I drove a really long way just to realize I didn't have to drive all that way. <laughs> I feel really stupid now. I made that literally the hardest and most long, like, thing that you could have possibly made it. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, as you see, I, if I would have listened to that in the beginning, then I would have understood what was going on, but because... I was too busy, you know, going to pick up that extra ammo. I didn't even notice that he said that, so... It's my fault, of course. You know, everything, everything is my fault. Everybody, everybody, everybody loves Raymond. Yeah! Okay, well, I'm ready, I'm ready to do this now. Let's, uh, let's swing away, Meryl. Let's do this. Oh my god, that's so many dudes! <laughs> I mean, I guess this is a pretty easy way to do it so far. <laughs> oh, and I'm pretty sure I killed his brother. <laughs> I really did, and I now am a, the proud owner of like 50 Louisville Sluggers. So what's up with this truck? Is there, is there? I wonder if there's like a special mission inside of this truck. I'll tell you one thing. There is a special package for me right there. 21! We are now the legal age to drink, even though I'm 25, so... A Bobcat? That's like a really... That's a really stupid name for, for a vehicle. I don't know. I mean, I guess it fits because there's like half a bajillion, you know, cars out there that are named after animals. But, I don't know, just a bobcat of all things? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I almost ran over a cop and he didn't even care. He's like, ah, pfft. Fuck, I, I don't even want to, I don't even want to do anything today. Jeez! Look at that guy. 
Oh, yep, bad idea. I know who I can buy. Away we go. I mean, I didn't realize we've been doing this for 20 minutes already, but then again, I guess that whole gold bar slash, you know, pound of coke deal was uh, was all part of the all part of the plan. Let's let's park this thing in the old in the old gay rage here. Get out and be on our merry way. I wonder. Dude, this is just a big giant ass garage. So can we like? I'll bet you if one of these other ones opens, that there's probably like a hidden package in there. I'll bet you. Unfortunately, we can't get in there. Because none of them want to open. Oh well, what do you do? Well, it looks like we've run out of time for this episode. It was it was good fun. That whole, that whole uh, thing with the bars was kind of awesome. So, when we come back next time... Man, I got a lot of handgun ammo. Jeez. When we come back next time, we're going to... Oh, we're out of payphone missions. I guess we got to go back and do some of the real stuff now. So, uh, yeah, you guys take care. We're going to do that. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.